Hey guys, so we have some breaking news here. This is unfortunate news, news that I never wanted to hear when we signed him, but it's unfortunate news. Carlos Rodon will start the season on the IL. Here we go. Before we get further into the video, though, if you guys love the Yankees and you want to be kept up to date with the latest news like this, rumors, speculation, or just plain old Yankee discussion, be sure to hit that subscribe button. And thank you guys for supporting the channel who are subscribed and who and you do make comments. It means a lot. So Carlos Rodon, he's dealt with injury issues his whole career, his whole career, pretty much. Last two seasons, not not really. He got Tommy John a couple of years ago. But his past two years, he's been okay. Last season, first ever time in his career that he's ever made 30 starts. And now he's going to start the year on the IL. Six years, $166 million later. And now he's going to start the year on the IL. Rodon, very good. I, I, I don't regret the signing at all. Excellent pitcher. And he has, he has such a high ceiling. He's such a good pitcher. And that's what the Yankees are banking on. That's why we sign him to this contract. It's okay if he, it seems like he's healthy, right? Seems like he's healthy. He pitched really great past two seasons. Let's throw the money at him. And now what happened? IL stint to start opening day. IL stint to start the year. Tommy Canely and Lou Trevino, two of our bullpen guys. IL stints to start the year as well. It's not looking good for Cashman, though. This isn't looking good for him. Scott Afrost, when we acquired him from Chicago last season, Frankie Montas, Lou Trevino now, Tommy Canely, Carlos Rodon, all hurt. Whether we spent money on them or whether we traded for them, they are all starting this season on the IL. Freaking crazy, guys crazy let me know what you guys think down in the comments thank you so much for watching this is Jonah. until next time signing out